I'm glad you came. Shepard, I'm glad you came. A Palavan agent has obtained the equipment used to record the General Partnax and Killux Tannis duel.
too high for me to pinpoint in Ardot Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? I saved you a lot of trouble. You should be grateful. Grateful? Huh. Now I get to deal with the slavers complaining about the reduction in their crops. But that I can handle. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Got something to report? I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. to speak with you, human. She heard you took on the Blood Pack assassins yourself. I wouldn't keep her waiting. Word has it that Patriarch's Krant took out the men sent here to kill him. Funny, I didn't know he had a Krant. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. I'm not looking for payment from you. Look at you. So proud. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. So you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out. Mundane things you can find you just don't waste my time. We friendly enough to talk about who you were before Omega? You're reaching back centuries, Shepard. Long before anything that should matter to you. So why keep it secret? No reason, from your perspective. But there are plenty of people out there with long memories. I've had a few careers, a few names. Commando training, mercenary leanings. I've kept what was valuable and dropped the baggage. I thought you were in charge. Why so scared of your past? I have nothing to fear on Omega. That doesn't mean I want to broadcast my past to the galaxy. You'd be surprised how long some entities can hold a grudge. This little exercise with Patriarch? A footnote. Not even the first Krogan I've pissed off. You're important, but also isolated. No other allies out there to back you up? I lean toward a particular type of work. It tends to encourage professional rivalry. Sometimes you'd rather disappear than be forced to kill someone. You couldn't have started here with nothing. You must have been someone important. I've always been important, even if others didn't recognize it. So yes, I had money to start this operation. I also had creditors who thought they were more entitled to it. I let them chase a ghost. Or several. It's relatively easy to outlive a Solarian, but not their record-keeping. All right, I'll drop it. Better luck next time. An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so... empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't done anything about it? Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. You want to talk? Talk to Arya. Shepherd Memorial Plaza on Elysium was voted this year's hottest wedding location. Under Admiral Hackett's orders, money raised from wedding fees goes to funds for and a ship. I only brought one of the units for me. The attack on the human colony of...
Freedom's progress has generated a swift but confused response. Aid vessels have been sent, but it is not clear whether there are survivors. The Council offered its... We can use this! ...that it could not become involved in a purely human matter. I've been investigating. This is the mother of the last victim. Speak to her. I will listen. I've been investigating. Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago and no one seems to care. The medics said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too. And I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you, Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> My baby. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. <laughs> My baby is gone. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, Look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Look around, Shepard. Anything could be informative.
Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the hallux is flowing through me, the way she looks at me with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for fifty years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. Huh. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. Meet me in the foyer of the VIP section, and we will work out the details. Soon there will be justice. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Neff made that. A man from some gallery offered me four years' salary for it, but I'd never part with it. Look around, Shepard. Anything could be informative. Hello again. Did you find anything? Is there anything I can do to help? I should go. Kent! End is not. Jacob, over here. You told me about Jacob, didn't you? Fears of an uncontrolled plague in the streets of Omega have been laid to rest. Jacob Taylor? I certainly didn't expect to see you again. I'm sure you didn't. No, please. So many years have passed since Tortuga. 
Lots of water under the bridge. I take it you've met each other before? Jacob and I worked a mission with Ish a few years back. He helped us with some information. You sent me into a nest of Turian thugs in a Batarian ambush. Hey now, my job was to get you inside. Anything more would have cost you extra. Is this going to be a problem? If we don't walk away, I promise he'll give you a reason to shoot him. Well, now you have me interested. Ish, if you make one wrong move. Of course. I learned my lesson last time. Trust me. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course. But it's paying work. Not illegal? I doubt it. Well, it's certainly legal on Omega. I can't be expected to know the laws of every settlement in the galaxy, can I? What kind of business do you do? Important business. So important that, with your help, we can change Omega. What do you mean, we can change Omega? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but certain people here have business deals with people throughout the galaxy. If we were to have information involving those deals, we could make some ripples around here. That's all I'll say. I'm listening. I'm in the information business, specifically the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merib's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package and bring those packages to me. Good to see you alive, Jacob. Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. <laughs>